Hello everyone, Tech Enthusiast here, and in this video, I'll show you how to get macOS Spotlight search feature on Windows. So without further ado, let's get started. So the program that offers macOS Spotlight functionality on Windows is called Fluent Search. So if you go to their website, for which I will also provide the link in video description down below, um, then you will go ahead and scroll down a bit till you see the double on button right here. Click on it and uh, here you have four options. So APPX installer, Exa installer, portable or Microsoft store. So from these four options, you pick your preferred one. But personally, I do like the first one. So APPX installer and click on that. So once you got the file, go ahead to your downloads folder and here double left click on this installer. And here you have install Fluent Search. So I will click here install. And uh, here we are to the Fluent Search program. So here you can use system theme and use system color, or you can pick from light and the dark theme. And here I will just pick the light theme and click next arrow. And uh, to get started, you have the search hotkey, which by default is control plus alt. Then we move on. And here you can also add uh, more applications to search for and then if you are happy with that let's move on to the next page then you have the search tags and uh, then we have the screen search and uh, let's move on to the latest so you can disable or enable send crash diagnostics so if you want to improve the program you can leave this enabled but if you don't want to you can also disable this and uh, then we have the process history so go to the previous process hotkey you have control plus shift plus key shortcut and go to the next process hotkey you have control plus Q shortcut and uh, yeah this is pretty much it for the welcome screen and here we are in our fluent search program right now so at the top you have the pinned applications and then at the bottom you have the suggested section so here you will see the recommended options for this program so if we go right now to the settings for the fluent search so at the system tray at the bottom right right click on the fluent search icon and here at the top second options from top to bottom you have the settings click on that and the first thing that we are going to see is the appearance tab for fluent search so in this tab you can basically change how this program will actually look and here at the top you have some of the presets personally i do think that the fluent one looks the best then we have the window style right now is set to the search bar only so you will clearly see the search bar only right here when enabling the fluent search and uh, if you want to you can also enable the full window so this one will look something like that with the pinned apps at the top and suggested tab at the bottom then we also have show progress bar if you want to uh, enable that you have an option to do so color scheme so light and dark use system colors you can also enable that and you can also change the accent color of this program so you have the manual color right here from which you can pick then at the bottom you have the font family and the font scale so the second tab is called search and here we have the search hotkey which currently is set on control plus alt so if you press on that it should launch the fluent search but if you want to you can also change this uh, hotkey to something else then we have the hide when losing focus, hide search window on hotkey, reset search when opening, so reset search to empty text when opening the search window. Then we have the search, so group search result, the currently is set on the smart, but you can also pick from four options. Then we have show groups expanded, show result information, and also max search results, so the max is 75 and the max group size is 30. Then we have the machine learning, which I think is quite uh, amazing to see in such a program. So currently you can also disable it if you want to, but um, I think it's a good thing to have it enabled. Then we have the home tab in the settings for the Fluent Search. So you have the show home screen when the search is empty. So if you disable this, and we press the control plus alt here you will see that we have only search anything and everything is blank but if we enable this you should see that we have the pin section back and suggested section as well 
and here you can manually disable or enable them if you want to then we have the effects so transparency effect you currently set on the transparent but we also have the acrylic blur mika effect or the blur personally i do think that the acrylic blur looks the best as you see and also enables this effect on the search itself then we have the window opacity if you want to you can also change that by your preference use wallpaper background so this will use for the background of the settings and the fluent search your preferred wallpaper image then we also have enable animations so you can enable or disable them uh, or even enable result animations which by default are turned off and then we have the preview tab so show preview window hotkey which we can also change so currently set on shift plus return and if you press on it and then we for example set it to the shift plus a and then we click here stop recording this should enable the current new uh, shortcut to enable the preview and if we open up right now the fluent search with uh, control plus alt and then we type in for example mac os and here we have the image and right now if we press the shortcut so shift plus a for the preview and here we should see the preview of the file very useful feature but if you want to you can also change it from the fluent search to the other program so separate program uh, which also works with this one which is called quick look but you will need to install it separately then we have the text files team text files font family word wrap show line numbers and so on and uh, then you also have keep files open you can enable a lot of the features right here the next tab is called web so here you have the search using the web search tag only or search using web hotkey which currently is set to the none so if you don't want to search the web you can disable this one and you also have the web search tag so currently we have the google provider bing and the translate if you don't want some of those options you can just select the bing for example and click minus and if you want to add something else you can just press plus and you should set your uh, link right here name and also the icon should be added um, automatically then we have the web suggestion provider currently set on the google but if you are using other search providers you can also pick from um, other options and if you go to the system you have the start at the startup so this program will run at the background and here you have the windows startup option if you want to you can select whichever option you like still performance mode so make fluent search use more resources to improve search speed and stability so if you want to you can also increase the performance of this program or if you have the less uh, cpu horsepower or even the ram personally i wouldn't advise to enable this feature then we also have the reduced memory usage if you want to you can also enable this one uh, and it will uh, clear basically the, the memory, but it may hurt performance. At the top, you also have one uh, um, option, which is called advanced options, which is currently set to the off. But if you want to, you can also enable this one. And uh, here you will have an option. I think we have the power user or advanced tab. So we have the prioritization context and the power user so enable search mapping convert the text input text to the output text while searching to reduce time so if you are let's say advanced user you can also enable this one if you want to use some advanced features we also have the context and the prioritization so i think the main competitor for this program is actually power toys run program from microsoft which is co-developed with the Microsoft Power Toys and it's built in the Microsoft Power Toys. So I think this one is also quite nicely packed up and also has offers a lot of the features and the customization options uh, that uh, Microsoft Power Toys, for example, does not offer. 
So yeah, I think this is pretty much it for the video. I think this program also increases the productivity. It does not use a whole lot of the system resources, as you see right here in the Fluent Search Beta. As you see, it uses 200 megabytes of the RAM, but here at the bottom, you also have the other options, right? So Fluent Search 30 megabytes right here and the Fluent Search Beta right here. It uses around 200 megabytes in the memory. If you are fine with that, I recommend this program but if you have the low memory machine then I wouldn't advise using this one so with that said personally I think this is it thank you so much for watching see you guys soon in the next video and if you haven't already make sure that you drop a like down below on this video and subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated have a wonderful rest of your day and see you guys soon in the next video and peace out